Welcome back to Genuine Core guys. This is the seventh video in the Android Studio tutorial series and in this video we will see how to implement the like action for our code. And for that first thing that we have to do is we have to change the representation of the code in the file first. We have to give an ID for all the codes. Only then we can uniquely determine the code once we like it so for that i'm going to give this kind of representation the first one will be the uh, string is separated into three parts first one is the id second one is the code and third one is the order so i hope you got the point so we will be able to differentiate the uh, codes using the id so just like this then we have to give unique ID for all the codes. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. You might be thinking, why I am going for an ID? Why don't you, why shouldn't I use the uh, line number? The problem is because if we are going for some kind of randomization in order to show the code in a random order, then the line number will not be applicable. So we will definitely have to go for an ID for each code. So we got the ID. Then the next thing is we have to introduce an integer variable here as ID and here we need an ID again. We will receive it using the uh, constructor so this dot id equals id then we will have to have a get transactor so get transactor for the id that is that was done using all to dot all to plus insert for getting this window then get transactor then i have taken this so the code class is okay now we will have to change the main activity here the first one is not code the first second one is code then third one is order then the first one which is, is represented using zero is the id so we will have to create an integer variable in code id equals uh, temp dot split now we will have to uh, pass an integer variable from the string normal java syntax so integer dot parse int then we will pass the string into integer now we will have to pass the code id here code id then code order so that's it uh, rest of the program will be uh, same so that's fine now i am coming back to this slide layout section and when i click on this one i will have to load the operation so i just gave the id like button for this button then i am coming back to the code page adapter the just like we did for the share button we will have to access the like button so it is an image button i'm just reusing the code from the uh, previous case so image button bt1 equals no share button that will be like button now we have to attach a non-click listener so btn one dot set on click listener then a new on click listener so i got this much now we will have to write the data into a file what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a sample file and inside once a user likes a code i will write that um uh, id code id into the file suppose he is liking a code having the id 5 then i will write file then I will write 6, then I will write uh, if he likes 9, then less like this. So this is what we are going to do. So for that we have to get a file opened. And uh, for that I am going to use this code. I mean this is used for opening a file. It will throw some exception. Let me explain this to you. First what we are doing is we have to create a file in the uh, in our mobile phone or in our smartphone to save the data so for that i'm going to create a file open file using the open file output method then this is the name of the file save the data.txt so i'm going to to like codes 
.txt then mode append is used in order to append the string i mean for subsequent operation we don't want to create a new file for every running we just have to reuse the like records.txt so we are going for mode append then in order to write data i'm going to use normal print writer class from java so print writer writer equals new print writer and we are just giving the file output string the f out and one more that is true then uh, so that's a normal print writer syntax now we have to print the id of the code so print writer dot print then print the ln then i am going to print the object I, that is the code object dot get id so now i will uh, print the code in the new line then i will just have to close the print writer after the writing operation so that's it now whenever he likes a code it will be written in the file like record.txt in order to make sure that our operation is working i'm just adding a testing code here using the scanner class i'm going to read the file once he likes it in order to make sure that the liking operation is success so scanner scanner equals the new scanner then i'm going to open a file for input operation that can be done using context dot open file input and i am going to give the name of the file that will be like the code dot txt i'm sorry like it codes dot txt then i just want to print the contents in the inside the file so while scanner has next i just have to print it so log dot d uh, code page adapter again then i am going to display the contents so scanner dot next line so this will print it line by line in the uh, which is the contents in the file so one more thing is when we like a code we just have to notify the user that he just like the code and for that we can use the toast class the toast is used for giving messages so you can give toast using toast dot make text method so it takes three parameters first one is definitely a context second one is the message that we want to give to the user so that will be uh, quote added to like list so that's fine then one more parameter is there that is the length i mean how much time it is to be shown there are two options length short and length long i'm going for length short then by using this show method this message will be shown remember that without this one no message will be uh, shown to the user so always call dot show method so that's it now let us run the program So I'm going to press on this one like so as you can see code added to like list now let us go to the Android monitor section and here code page adapter you can see that it is printing one now I'm going to another code like uh, this one then I'm going to like it so when I like on it you can see that it is displaying one and four so I just like it first code and fourth code so there is one more that, uh, thing that we have to do is when i press uh, fourth code again it will save the four again so it shouldn't be done one code should be liked only once i mean if it is already like we have to show uh, a message that a code cannot be liked more than once or thing like that so let's see how to do that so i'm going to modify this code I'm going to take the scanner to the first like here then I will first check whether the code is already liked if it is not liked only then we will have to insert the uh, code ID into the file so for that I'm going to use the scanner and from the scanner I will take the first uh, line or line by line and I will pass it to an integer variable so int id equals integer dot int then so 
uh, each in the ID that is saved inside the file will now be taken to the ID and we will create a boolean variable here boolean flag boolean is already liked equals false then if it is already liked it should be one of the ID so if ID dot equals code dot get ID then we will set the is already liked to true then if it is already liked then we will have to uh, give a message so if is already liked then we will go for toast again here we will show a message that is uh, quote this quote is already liked then just a smiley then we don't want to run this code or execute this code so we can just give a return and there is a one problem that I have left it is not code.getID the code is the text view object that we have created we have to go for our code object uh, the problem was uh, there is a get ID function for the text view also so that was confusion so this is okay if ID dot equal if ID equals object dot get ID when then it is already like let me run the code again now let us wait for the compilation and it's completed uh, it is not restarted so I'm just going to restart the project then I'm going to press on this like button so this code is already liked I'm going to click on the like button this is not likely yet so code added to like list then I'm going to press on the like button again and as you can see the code is already liked so that's it guys that's how you implement the code uh, saving mechanism there is a number of ways to so store the like the codes and uh, I think this is simple enough and in the next video I will show you how to display the list of liked codes in a new window so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos